An important factor in the inspection and repair of small engines is your ability to take inside measurements. Some of the basic parts of a small engine that require inside measurement are the cylinder bore, the connecting rod journal, and sleeve type bearings. The cylinder bore is measured for wear and for an out of round condition. We'll use a cutaway drawing to clarify just what we mean by wear and an out of round condition. The cylinder bore wears more at the spark plug end or top than it does at the bottom. This condition is called taper and is caused by a number of reasons. First of all, the top of the cylinder is exposed to more heat and grit than the bottom of the cylinder. Secondly, there is more oil on the bottom ring and in the bottom of the cylinder, therefore reducing the wear in the lower cylinder area. The cylinder bore wears unevenly or out of round because of the side thrust caused by the angle of the connecting rod. When working with bearings, always keep in mind that there must be a space between the shaft and bearing metal for a thin film of oil. Because of the oil film, the steel shaft journal never actually touches the bearing metal. Without the oil film, the bearing would be ruined in a very short time. The acceptable measurement readings for these parts are found in the manufacturer's service manual. Some of the instruments used to take inside measurements are the dial gauge, the inside micrometer, and the telescope gauge. To demonstrate the basic procedure for taking inside measurements, we'll use the telescope gauge, as this is the instrument most commonly used on small engines. However, you should remember that the procedures shown in this film also apply to the use of many other measuring instruments. Telescope gauges normally come in sets that allow you to take a large range of inside diameter readings. An outside micrometer is used with the telescope gauge to obtain the reading in the thousandths of an inch. Now let's take a close look at the telescope gauge to see just how it works. The telescope gauge consists of a handle attached to a fixed contact and a telescoping contact plunger. The telescoping contact plunger fits inside the fixed contact and is under spring tension. When the contact plunger has expanded or contracted to the whole size, the contact is then locked in position by tightening the knurled screw at the end of the handle. The exact measurement is then determined by measuring the distance across the two contacts with an outside micrometer. To see exactly how the telescope gauge is used, we'll take some actual readings using a cylinder from a small engine. First, we select a gauge of the approximate size of the hole to be measured. To get an accurate reading, be sure to clean the hole to be measured as well as the telescope gauge. Next, we check the manufacturer's specification chart to find the specified cylinder measurements for this particular engine model.
We now insert the telescope gauge into the cylinder bore and allow the contact plunger to expand to whole size. We rotate the gauge slightly until we find the high point of the bore. A slight turn of the knurled screw at the end of the handle locks the contacts to this measurement. We then remove the telescope gauge from the cylinder. By holding the telescope gauge between your fingers and laying an outside micrometer in the palm of your hand, you then measure the distance across the two contacts of the telescope gauge. The reading must be within the recommended tolerances listed in the manufacturer's specification chart. To get the correct measurement of the cylinder bore, we must measure at six points. Three with the gauge in one direction, and three with the gauge at a 90 degree angle from the first direction. To help explain further, let's use a cutaway drawing of a cylinder. An accurate taper measurement is obtained by measuring at the top at the center and at the bottom of the ring area. The telescope gauge should then be inserted at an angle 90 degrees from the first three readings. And then take readings at three additional points from top to bottom. The three additional readings will help you determine if the cylinder is out of round. When measuring bearings, be sure to take a clearance measurement near the top and another clearance measurement near the bottom to determine the taper. Also, be sure to take two additional measurements at a 90 degree angle from the first two readings to determine if the bearing has worn out of round. Let's review the basic steps of taking inside measurements with a telescope gauge. Find the manufacturer's specification for the particular part you are measuring. Position the gauge in the hole. Make your reading with an outside micrometer. Take readings to determine taper. And additional readings to determine if the hole has worn out of round. Inside measurements are necessary to decide whether to recondition or replace a part. Learn the basic procedures for taking inside measurements and then practice what you've learned to develop a skilled feel or touch for the job.